Yeah. It's your boy, OK Bet here, bringing you another New World video. Today, we have a light melee build. It's going to be the Abyss and Avoid Gauntlet. And hopefully later, I'll be able to bring you the Abyss Ice Gauntlet, which is a lot easier to play. But I hope you enjoy. Check it out. Man, holy fuck. Light, by the way. And there's a grab on you. And they're pulled in. And they're spin to win. That was nasty. I'm running the featherweight so I can stay in light, but still have medium resistance. Uh, I put thrust conditioning on it, um, but that was... For previous builds, it just fits fine, whatever. It stops bows and spears and things like that. The gloves, I have Nullifying Oblivion, Elemental Aversion, Slash Conditioning. So basically just two mitigation perks and a weapon perk. These pants, I would say, are pretty bis. Uh, grit Ward, Void Harnessing, and Slash Conditioning. And then the boots are from Glacial Tarn. Um, it's the Frigid Dawn set. I have Elemental Aversion, Insatiable Gravel, and Enchanted Ward, which is an illegal combo. That's why they work really well with this. These are heavy, and so are the gloves. And then two light pieces with featherweight keep you in light weight, which will give you that more damage. Um, also gives you a little bit more mobility. Now, I do have the rune glass um, that gives you more void damage because uh, I want to do more damage. I want to be like a kind of like a glass cannon almost. But with the grit ward and all the other conditioning perks, I'm very tanky, um, as you can see in a lot of the clips. Uh, I do have the Ankh on with Slash Protection on it. I know a lot of people say Stam Recovery, but just dodge better. Um, I like Protection more than anything. Uh, I have infect Infected, Void Damage, and a Hardy Ring. This Hardy gives me, you know, more Stam. Void Damage, obviously, more Dam. And then Infected just helps with the disease uh, from the Void Gauntlet itself, which I have Keen, Plague Crits, and Scream on it. Really good when you Scream a Clump, especially if it crits. Then on the Abyss itself, I actually put Thwarting Counter because my whole goal is to absolutely nuke Bruisers. Just make sure they they die fast. And the reason for that is I'm doing Void Damage. Most people have Slash Conditioning on. They don't really care much about you know anything that covers Void Damage, so especially from Melee. So if they run like an Elemental Aversion build or anything like that, I can absolutely nuke them within seconds. As far as the stat split goes... I'm running 199 int, 50 focus, and 358 con. I can get my stats a little bit higher if I run the 48 food instead of the 40 food. It'll just give me more con, more health. That's fine, but I don't necessarily need it. I'm kind of cheap. The reason I'm doing 199 int is because when you have 200 int, every time you crit, you gain mana. Now, the whole goal behind this is to not have my mana at 100%. So you'll see in a lot of the clips that as soon as I scream Oblivion and Tether, 
I do way more damage than my Great Axe because my mana is so low. I run 358 con because I get the extra 10% grit word by having 350 con. I get grit by having 300 con. And then I run 50 focus because I get more incoming healing, which I need because I'm in light. So if I'm in a sacred ground, I'm doing really well. And also the 25 focus gives me more refreshing. Therefore, I have my abilities faster. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you like, subscribe, and get notified. I appreciate you, baby.